What's up everybody? This is your boy Venom back to give you another video. And today um we are going to be reviewing the new Ghostbusters movie. But I thought about adding a little extra into this. Now this video has been done more times than I can count and it's finally come down to something simple. Uh originally it was going to be kind of a goofy funny review, but I just didn't like the way it was turning out. And so I had to kind of go back to the drawing board a little bit and just kind of simple, uh, simplify it. So, and uh, everybody's been asking and asking and asking, and this is what you're going to get. So enjoy. Uh, today, not only are we reviewing the new Ghostbusters movie, but we're going to go and review this as well. This is uh, a advent calendar for Halloween course it's december but <clears throat> i've had it for a while and i've been kind of hanging on to it and then of course i've seen the new ghostbusters movie so i thought i'd put two and two together but it just wasn't working right so uh we're gonna go over this i'm not gonna really review it i'm just gonna kind of show it off to you guys as we go along and um actually we're gonna do this one first and then we're gonna get to the review Anyways, guys, uh, Ghostbusters Paranormal Collectibles, 13 Days of Ghostly Surprises Advent Calendar. And inside, we have all of this when I don't drop it on the floor. I'll show it to you guys one by one. But if you don't know what an Advent Calendar is, look it up, because I'm not explaining. <laughs> but basically, you know, you, you pop all these things loose, you put them in this box... That I have in my hands now I would show you but as you see the box got a little kind of jacked up um, yeah but when it was together you pop out little squares in here you put the tray in for each day you take a little trinket out of the tray by popping one of these bad boys open and not rip it off like I just did <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's the back if you guys can see it uh, yeah, let's just uh, go through the list of things real quick, and then we're going to get to this review. So, number one, we have the Key Master. Got old Vincey Poo up in here. God damn fucking reflection. Try that. There we go. Key Master. I haven't even looked at half of these yet, so just bear with me, guys. A little poster or something. And the hill. Oh, it's a sticker. Gozer. Gozer the Barbarian! I've actually been curious about this for a while, guys. Got another poster. Ooh, this one. I like this one. Got all the names of the Ghostbusters guy. It's another sticker. And we got a magnet. I believe it's a magnet. Ecto one license plate. Bam! Oh, more poster sticker things. They're rolled up like posters or like joints. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, why, why didn't you have all this prepared already, Barry Venom? Oh, well, you know, it is what it is, man. Oh, wait, it's got it backwards. Okay, I was a little confused. See if I can get close enough so you guys can see it. It's uh, the zombies driving the taxi, and there's a bunch of uh, looks like you know ghost spirits and shit in the back. So there you go for that, guys. This one I actually took out of the box when I went to go see the new Ghostbusters movie, and there you go. It's a magnet, but it's pretty fucking awesome. I love it. 
I'm going to put this on my fridge tonight. Next! Come on. These rolls, man. These rolls. Stickers are all fucked up. I don't want... Bam. Another sticker. As far as I know, there's stickers. Oh, here we go. Another magnet. Got the Slimer. Yeah, Hungry Tam. Slimer. And, of course, our favorite. Zool. Too cool, Zool. <laughs> Another button. I'm not even taking that one out of the package. Ghostbusters. Got another one. Ghostbusters. That big camera focus. Yeah. Terrible focus on this camera. I'll save that one for last. And uh, this thing. <laughs> Stay pop. It's a, uh, it's like a kind of a button, I think. It kind of goes like here. I think. Maybe not. I, I don't know. I'm stupid. I don't wear stuff like that. And then, of course, the final. Pretty sure this is a magnet. It doesn't feel like a magnet, though. Drop this in your fucking tape player. Oh! There you go, guys. Ghostbuster stuff. Just wanted to show it off to y'all. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't make some crazy review like I normally do, but I just kind of had to take a break from it because I think that was one of the reasons why this was taking so long, other than, of course, dealing with a bunch of other crap in my life. But I'm trying to come up with something worthwhile watching, you know, guys? Anyways, and uh, of course, Ghostbuster shirt. Uh, and a big shout out to Gravestone Entertainment INC for uh, hooking me up with this this stuff here and sure thank you buddy Merry Christmas to you and yours so let's get to this review because this is what y'all been waiting on not a little intro not a little funny funny <laughs> so Ghostbusters Afterlife where do we start Let's start here. It was fucking awesome! Yes. Yes. Ghostbusters Afterlife turned out better than I could have ever expected. Um, and the story does not re revolve around the original Ghostbusters. I mean, it kind of does in a weird way, but it's mostly focused around a new generation. Um, family of a family. I'm not going to say anything else than that. And, uh, they're out on an old farm and, uh, these kids, they start finding little, little things, little trinkets of, uh, Ghostbusters past and things start getting more and more extreme and they're in this town where there's all kinds of weird things going on, random earthquakes when there shouldn't be any earthquakes and just, just a lot of random things that are happening that are not supposed to happen. All this adds up, of course, to a climax, blah, 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 blah. That's about as brief as I can get. You know, I don't want to tell anybody really anything about this movie because you have to see it for yourself. Um, I will say this, though. A lot of people that I, I, I know of that have went into this movie, they're expecting, like, a new Ghostbusters and what I mean by that is not like a sequel, like a, almost like a, a rebirth of the franchise. New people, new story, blah, fuckity blah. That's not what this is. It might be called Ghost ba uh, Ghost Bastards, <laughs> Ghostbusters Afterlife. But this is not Ghostbusters Afterlife. This, this, ladies and gentlemen, is Ghostbusters 3. Why do I say that? I can't tell you. 
I do not want to spoil this for you guys. I mean, there is enough spoiler shit out there already. Way too much, to be honest. And I had to avoid everything Ghostbusters related until I seen this movie. And this is uh, becoming a very bad trend nowadays, which we'll get to that in a minute. But... I watched some reviews after I was done with this film. And I was a little upset. These reviewers nowadays are such a bunch of cold-hearted cynics. They don't... All they care about is picking out the bullshit constantly. They can't sit back and enjoy a film for what it is. No, they gotta nitpick and find things wrong with it and complain about it. There is nothing to complain about when it comes to this. This is what us Ghostbusters fans always wanted. Well... Actually, we wanted the original cast in their prime with all of them alive doing this again. But this is the next best thing, and it was done so fucking well. And the the, the main character is, um, I can't remember her freaking name now, it's been too long. But the little girl, she got the curly hair. If you've seen any pictures, any promos, any videos of this movie, you'll know who I'm talking about. She's the main character, and she carries this movie. Big time. I didn't think... She was going to be as good as she was, but man, was I impressed. She did a good job. And all the other characters were okay, uh, for the most part, other than the mother. Um, I hate, I hated the mother. The mother was poorly cast, and whoever wrote the character for the mother fucking sucked. She is so stupid, so boring. And I can't even really explain to you guys why I feel this way because it'll spoil things for you. But when you go into this film, just keep this kind of stuff in mind. When you see the mother as you're watching the movie, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Fuck that bitch. I wish she wasn't in the movie because I hate her guts. She sucked. Her character sucked. And I didn't want to hate her. There's a reason. But with, with that said... Uh, all the other characters, um, the guy that played Ant-Man, I, I can't think of his name as well because I'm terrible with remembering, remembering names, um, but he, he did awesome. But he, I thought when he came into the picture, he was going to take a back seat or, he, or everyone else was going to take a back seat in this movie because he's, he's a star. He's Ant-Man. He's in, he's in Marvel movies. I mean, he's well known. And he was in the film for a little bit, but then all of a sudden, he he was nothing. It was just like, he was just a supporting character. That was it. Background character, because it wasn't about him. It wasn't about the original Ghostbusters. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. It was more focused where it needed to be focused in this film. And, um, which is on the new, the new cast, the, 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 the kids, the new generation. And um, usually I'm not too fond of them kind of ideas. But this was done right. And oh, don't even get me started on nostalgia overload. Oh my god. I don't want to even tell you guys a single thing. Because you'll see for yourself when you see this movie. If you've seen Ghostbusters 1 or 2 or both, you're going to go... Member berries! 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 But member berries in a good way. Honestly, I fucking loved all the, the callbacks to all of the Ghostbusters movies. And even the cartoons. There was callbacks to that. And um, just so many. I mean, some people were like, it was too much. It was too much. No, it was just enough. I don't give a fuck. What would you rather have? Ghostbusters 2016 or this? Stop fucking complaining, guys. Seriously. Stop it. Just stop it. These reviewers out here irritate me so much because they play off people's emotions. They don't, they're not honest with them. And when they are, they, they have to wrap their cynical bullshit around their honesty. And I hate that shit. You know, you call it like you see it, man. Not, oh, I got to find a fault in this. There's no fault in this. I mean, you want to nitpick? Fine. 
But the movie is fucking great, and I wouldn't change it for anything in this world. And uh, here's another reason why I've given this so much praise, guys. I was so invested in this movie. By the end, the climax, the grand finale of this film, the shit made me cry. For fuck's sakes, it made me cry. I fucking sat there, I felt it coming, I was like, no way this is getting me this upset, in a good way. There's no way it's pulling on my heartstrings like that. Nothing has done that, done that to me since, I don't know, Game of Thrones. And I didn't even cry, well, I came close. But I'm not a crier, I don't cry, guys. I don't do that, no matter what. Even in the worst situations in my life, I don't cry. It's just who I am. So for something like that to really, ooh. And it got to me, guys. It really, really got to me. And I fucking loved it even more for that. That it managed to pull that kind of emotion out of me. And I'm not the biggest Ghostbusters fan. To the kind of, you know, goes or, you know, whatever. I fucking love Ghostbusters. I, I grew up uh, uh, just worshipping the Ghostbusters as a kid. But as I got older, I grew out of it. I mean, I still love it. But it's not like how I love Resident Evil or uh, or other things. But I do have a certain feel for this series. You know, it, it means a lot to me. So when it's done and done right, yeah. I mean, need I say anything else, guys? Now, some people tried to point out that there was a lot of points in this movie where there was just like coincidence after coincidence after coincidence after coincidence after coincidence, blah, 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 blah. Well, I mean, if you really want to think about it that way, look at the other Ghostbusters movies and tell me there's no coincidences in that. One thing after another. Oh, wow. Hey, I need a pencil. Oh, look, there's a pencil. Oh, I need an eraser. Oh, there's an eraser. Hey, how about that Twinkie? That's a big Twinkie. Yes, and the Twinkie makes an appearance. So keep your eyes open for that. Spoiler! <laughs> God damn it, guys. You made me spoil it. <laughs> but you got to really pay attention. Easter Egg City, man. You got to watch it. And you got to pay close attention. If you know your, your little bit of your lore, you're going to fucking love it. You're going to be like, ooh, 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 ooh. And that's exactly what I was doing the whole time. You know, my, my wife was next to me. She was just like, shut up, shut up. I was like, no, I can't help it. I'm too excited. I'm, the little kid is coming out of me right now. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I want to go to the store and buy some new toys. Some new new toys. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I fucking love this movie. I I don't know if there's going to be a sequel. Honestly, I... This might not be very popular to some people, but I do not want to see a sequel. No. Do not make another sequel. This is where the franchise should end. I say that because we all know what's going to happen. They make another movie and it's going to turn out to be a piece of garbage. And people are going to shit all over it and it's going to be back to that again. Ah, they don't care about the franchise! Oh! Fucking idiots. You know, that reminds me of that Resident Evil movie I just seen. I mean, it was the same scenario with that. You give people what they want and they still cry about it. I mean, that movie wasn't perfect, but, I mean, come on. But yeah, we, I went and seen the Resident Evil movie and then I seen Ghostbusters the same day. And, uh, I'm not going to bring up about how shitty theaters are nowadays, but yeah, that was... Actually, when I went in for Ghostbusters, it was actually... The seating was better, the screen was bigger, and, and it was louder, and it was a little bit warmer compared to the Resident Evil Auditorium, or we've seen that. But Anyways, anyways. Yes, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, I would definitely give you guys a high, 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 high... Highly re recommend that movie to you guys. If you're still in theaters and you're still trying to decide whether to go see it or not, go see it. You will not regret it. You will not. Stop listening to the Cynic reviewers out there. Listen to me. And me, Venom, tells you that this movie is dope.
Ghostbusters 3 Afterlife is what it should be called. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, I had one other point I was gonna I was gonna put out to you guys and I'll do that after this part. Um I, I, there were some things I wanted to to, to discuss with you guys in the little end credits. So anyways guys, I, I'm sorry that the, the video is not more evolved and crazy and all over the place, but it's Christmas time, guy. I've had a lot going on. Daddy need to feed his kitties, you know what I mean? Not the kitty cats. Which, actually, I have a, another kitty now. I'm going to name her Rocky. She's all white with a black top head. That's it. All her brothers and sisters died. Uh, some got smothered. Actually, all of them, I think, technically got smothered in the end, but... It was really sad. It was really fucking sad. So, yeah, I was dealing with that, you know. This this happened, like, a day after I was getting ready to... Or the day I was getting ready to start filming this the first time. And then it just, like, multiple delays after that, so... But, yeah. Um... So, with that said in mind, guys, uh, pretty much covered all bases here, I think. Ghostbusters, I mean, what did you think of the advent calendar? What did you think of the movie? Have you seen the movie? And if you have seen it, what did you think? Am I right? Ghostbusters 3? Or is it Ghostbusters Afterlife? The New Awakening! No, it's Ghostbusters 3, and you better accept it. Go into that movie with that in mind, and you'll enjoy it a hell of a lot better. That's what I... That's my best advice for you guys when it goes to seeing this film. Go into it what thinking this is Ghostbusters 3 because it makes a hell of a lot more sense that way. So, with that said, have you seen it? Have you not? And if you have seen it, what did you think? Tell me. So, tell me what you think. Tell me what you know. Comment down below. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, I'm sorry. Things have just been really delayed lately. I just had so much going on. It's just like I never have time to to do anything it seems like but uh i do have some more things on the way uh, a lot less confusing bullshit i have a new another review coming actually two more um i think the one i'm probably going to release like on christmas eve which there's an easter egg in this video for that video can you figure out where it's at it's a christmas movie think about it Easter egg. Where's the Easter egg? <laughs> and uh, tomorrow, hopefully, as long as everything goes all right, we're going to be going to see the new Spider-Man film. And uh, I cannot wait to see that. Fingers crossed for Toby and Andrew. Oh, that's that's what I want. You know what? We're not going to wait to the credits. We're going to talk about this right fucking now. All these reviewers out there, and I'm talking to you, stop spoiling the movies for everybody. There are people, guys, out there right now that got to see this new Spider-Man movie a week before anybody else. And the first thing they do is they get on YouTube and they start dropping videos about it. Now, they're not going to say, oh, all this in the information, all the spoilers. The spoiler is in the display picture. And they spoil it. I've seen six spoilers. Six. Six fucking spoilers already. In three days. I feel like I can't even get on YouTube because of that shit. What, uh, what, what was the other one that just... Uh, that, that new Venom movie that came out. When it came out. Uh, right before it came out in theaters. People got to see, see that movie before everybody else. And guess what they did. They got on YouTube and they started spoiling it. For everyone. Every fucking one. And this has been going on more and more and more. If you are one of those people, fuck you. Seriously. Stop doing that. People don't want their shit spoiled. People cry about how the theaters are dying and shit all the time. That's why. Because nobody needs to go and see a movie and spend money to watch the movie when motherfuckers on YouTube are spoiling it for everyone. I've been waiting... Forever for this new Spider-Man movie. Especially when I found out about the, the possibility of other Spider-Mans being in this film. 
I was so stoked, so excited. And I don't want the movie spoiled by some jackhole that can't keep his fucking panties in line. That is bullshit. And people like you don't deserve to be on YouTube. Go home and go back to your fucking day job. People need to stop doing this because it's not right. It's becoming a very bad trend and it's getting worse every single day. I'm seeing it more and more and more and more. And people are just... It's like they don't care. Oh, well, just don't watch the video. I don't. Nobody doesn't watch... Nobody wants to watch these videos. But when you're scrolling through, uh, for, through YouTube... Over and over... Eventually, you're going to come across some jackhole... That takes a spoiler... And puts it in his display picture. And it's pretty obvious what's going on. If you know something about a film... And there, there, there are rumors going on, or you have these ideas, and then someone says, oh, like Spider-Man, for instance. I've seen this one asshole. He put Toby, he put Andrew, he put uh, 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 the new Spider-Man. Uh, what the hell is his name? Ah, I can't remember. Anyways, he had all three Spider-Mans in his display picture, and he wrote in the display picture, hey, guess what? da 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 Now, maybe that's not what was going on there, but it's just that kind of shit. That really bothers me. Now most people are liars and they just make shit up. But other people, these early reviewers, they get to watch these films and they get to fucking review them before anybody even gets to see them. And I don't think that's very fair. Because these people are a lying piece of shit and they can't control their fucking shit. They spoil it for everyone. And I wish these movie producers and creators would watch these kinds of videos and see... Or, or, or pay attention to YouTube. Why, look what people are doing out there with your shit. You're worried about losing money in streaming revenue and services? Bro, you're losing money because you're allowing people to watch these movies early and they spoil it for everyone. And then when it's spoiled, nobody wants to watch it. Unless you're a diehard fan of whatever it is that you want to watch. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to get pissed off. And I'm not really mad. I mean, I am inside. But I just want to point this out. Uh, you know, I even had, uh, before I even went and seen Ghostbusters, somebody tried to spoil that for me. A couple people. Same, uh, same. you know, like I said, Spider-Man. Fucking, there's been a lot of them. But I, I have to use my peripherals to not see that. And that's bullshit. YouTube is so concerned about uh, 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 taking subscribers away from people and views. Because, oh, they're not legit because they only watched uh, 9 minutes out of 12 minutes of your video. So, you know, they're a scammer. Of course, they're a scammer. Let's just take that away from you. Let's take away your hard work. Fuck it. But they let these kinds of people on YouTube... Get, break the system, take advantage of the system, and lie to everybody, and fucking cheat people out of money, and everything else. There is something seriously wrong with this scenario, and I it has to be stopped. But, you know, we all know it's not going to, because people are fucking idiots. And people on YouTube don't seem to pay attention. I'll oh, pay attention now, because I'm telling you what's going on. And I know I'm not the only one that sees it. But I just want to point that out to you guys, and say, Hey, let's get... Fucking ready to kill these bastards because we don't want to take any more bullshit from any more retards. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point, guys. Anyways, um, I don't have anything else to say other than go see Ghostbusters Afterlife. It is fucking awesome. It's way better than the last Ghostbusters movie, which was 2016. Answer the call with all the girls in it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything bad about women, Okay. Just, it was a shitty Ghostbusters movie. I mean, it was okay at certain points, but honestly, no. Just just get the fuck out of here. Let the boys take over. This is our shit. This is not women's, women's stuff. This is men's stuff. We like hunting spirits. We're boys. We're boys. Anyways, guys, feel the love, feel the flow. And until next time, I will see you all again. Ah!